Okay, uh, now we're going to have a look at uh, covering uh, a GD18 frame with a uh, solid 2mm polycarbonate sheet. We start with um, a glazing tape which is stuck to the uh, timber frame. Uh, it needs to be about 10mm wide and 3mm thick. Uh, it's a foam based glazing tape. You, you should be able to find this in most glazing supply um, stockists. Um, that's a new rule I have there. Uh, what we do is we put it on the inside of the frame so that it creates a, a nice neat line on the inside. Press it down firmly and then trimmed in place. And then uh, we we uh, we'll peel the back off and stick the polycarbonate to it. Um, doing the last one now. There's um, 103 frames like this in a typical GD18 type door, so there's a bit of work in it. You can paint the frame first, or uh, as in this case, just put it straight onto the wood. Uh, the modern glazing tapes have a really good uh, grip, so that they, they will grip on painted wood or not painted wood. There we go, we're taking the backing off now. See if I can get a hold of it. There we go, that's the backing off. And uh, now we get a sheet of uh, polycarbonate. Take the protective coat off it first. And then stick that down on the timber frame. It's better to take the white side off. There's a slight. There still is a, a protective one on the outside, but it's like a um, or slightly opaque. You can just see it there now. Press it down. Uh, you need to line these up pretty good as well because if you touch it um, and it's not lined up right, it'll grab really hard, and you'll you'll have to pull the tape off and start again. So line it up nicely, and then and then give it a good push down. Once you've got that on, we need to uh, silicon behind the poly the polycarb and to the wood. Just just see it there now. I'm pushing in the silicon in behind to the tape. This makes a nice neat square line, um, and it glues effectively glues the polycarbonate to the frame. You can see as well that the uh, polycarbonate's a slightly bit bigger than the actual frame. We're going to trim that later but for now until this is dry this will take maybe a day a couple of days to cure and um, just stack them up and uh, leave them like this there we go and this is the last one it doesn't take long you'll need to make a, a angled bit for your um, silicon gun because if you put it in on a round bit, it just goes everywhere. So cut an angle one, and uh, that's you done. Right, I've finished sticking the polycarbonate. I'll pull one out to the side of the frame, and what we get is uh, it's slightly bigger than the frame. From here, there. It's all, all neat and tidy. We still have the. Uh, cover on to protect our polycarbonate uh, but it's all stuck and solid there now what we do next I'll just put this back is we have set the saw up with a plastic cutting blade and it's set so that we take a little tiny I'll try and line that up for you little tiny sliver and a little tiny cover off. This, what this does, I'll show you when that's been done. Is uh, there you go. It takes a little tiny notch out, but it also evens up the polycarbonate. So it's it's just a, it's just about a mill and a half, uh, mill and a half smaller than the wood frame. Now when we join the wood frame together, then that'll leave a little tiny gap to put the silicon down. Which I'll show you that in a minute.
Right, we have our finished triangles stacked here. Uh, if you stack them, remember we had a little mark on the top to mark the top. I've stacked them all that way up. Uh, what we need to do next is start uh, pre-assembling them. I'll show you that now. Take triangle and turn it like that so that the two top marks are together. One complete half hexagon. I'll show you the other side. Because of the groove we cut, you can see that we now have a groove left uh, to put the silicon sealant in. And we'll seal that next. Right, I've assembled most of the panels now. Um, and what, would, what you do when you join them, you're left with this gap here. And what you do is you put, you put silicon Fill the gap with silicon and then tool it off flat. I'll show you over here. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the because we've got plastic covering that. So when we pop that off, it leaves a nice straight black edge like that.